Now, this song isn't exactly difficult to play. It, most of the chords are very simple and the structure is quite simple, but there is quite a lot of it, especially in the verse where we get a sequence of 15 different chords changing in quite quick succession. So I'm gonna break the verse down. The bridge is easy enough. Um, but first, let's have a look at the feel, the rhythmic feel of this. We've got a time signature of 12-8, which means four beats in the bar, and each beat is split into three. One and a two and a three and a four and a, okay? Now a typical picking pattern for this would be something like this. One and a two and a three and a four. So what I'm doing here is I'm placing my picking fingers on the top three strings. First finger on the third string, second finger on the second string, third finger on the top string, and then my thumb is gonna be wherever the normal bass note for the chord should be. Uh, so for a C, that would be on the th fifth string. Thumb one, two, three, two, one. Creating a kind of ripple, a harp-like effect, if you like. If I were playing G7, which we'll see in a bit, the thumb would move down to the sixth string. Okay, now one effect of this, particularly keeping the fingers on the top three strings, is that we might well be fretting fingers in our chord shapes, like in this G7 for example, that we're not actually gonna be picking. I've got my second finger on the fifth string here. I'm never actually gonna play that. So I suppose the question is, do you try to simplify things by remembering not to bother to put the finger down that isn't gonna get played or is that more effort than it's worth? For me personally, I think I'm just gonna play the whole chord and if one of the strings that I'm fretting doesn't get played, uh, it's still a little bit easier for me than making a note to remember not to bother to put a finger down, except maybe for this one. We're gonna see F in a minute. And if you're not keen on bar chords, you could just do this. Top three strings of the same shape and then the thumb wrapping around the first fret of the bottom string. Okay, that's the one place where maybe, rather than playing the whole chord, that might be a little bit easier. Again, if you're not particularly keen on playing a bar chord, uh, I'll probably mix and match a little bit, but uh, the other chords are relatively straightforward. Okay, so let's have a look at the bass line, which forms the first half of the verse. We start with a C, that's the third fret of the fifth string, standard bass note for a C chord, down to the second fret, that's B, and then open fifth string, which is A, third fret on the fifth string is G, first fret is an F, down on the sixth string still, open sixth string, that's E. Now, if I could, I'd move down to a D, but I've run out of guitar, so I need to go up to the open fourth string for my D, and then we finish off with a G. Now, of course, I should say at this point, I've got my capo on the second fret, because that means I can play the relatively simple shapes in C, and I'm in the same key as the original, which is D. So that bass line is. Now, let's put the chords together with that. The first chord is a C, with a C in the bass, obviously. Now, for the B in the bass, we've actually got an E minor, so standard E minor, E over E minor over B, so I'm just missing out the bottom string. A minor, standard. I'm gonna move the third finger down for A minor over G. That's gonna go onto the third fret of the sixth string. Now, I've got my F chord. Then I've got a C over E, so it's a C chord, but with an E in the bass. And then I've got G7 for a whole bar, but the first half I'm gonna play D, the open fourth string in, with the thumb, and then move down to the sixth string. So the whole of that is. second half of the verse is a little bit more straightforward. We've got our F chord. G7. 
A minor help, back to F. Falling in, then we got C over G this time. I'm gonna put my third finger down on the sixth string. Above G7 with, and C finally a whole bar. So the whole of the verse, wise men say, only fools rush in. Now, there's another verse exactly the same, and then we're into the bridge. And here we weirdly have five bars. It almost never happens, but we've got five bars. Half a bar each of E minor and B7. Like the river flows. And I'm just going to pick that as I normally would. We get three of those. Like the river flows. To the sea, darling, so it goes. Now, half a bar of E minor to A7. Some things are meant to, and then D minor. B to G7. Take next verse, my hand, and so on. Okay, the only other thing to look at now is the intro. Two bars of intro, four different chords, C, G7, C, and then C over G. We stay on C but move the bass note down to the third fret of the sixth string before we. So the whole intro, verse, bridge, verse is like this. Wise men say Only fools rush in But I can help Falling in love with you I'm gonna go straight to the bridge like the river flows, surely to the sea, darling, so it goes. Some things, A7, are meant to be. Take my hand, take my whole life. Last four. No, I can help falling in love with you. And that's it.